my brothers from another mother what is going on today I want to talk about high mileage M5 M6s X6Ms X5Ms they all use the same motor one thing that I've noticed now that I've owned this car for a little while is how easy it is for this car to do anything it just lumbers along at a very easy pace uh, I'll put it in perspective for you even in seventh gear at 2,000 rpm uh, this car is doing a speed that would get you probably a $500 fine in Canada on a highway so it is a very easy low revving cruising car it eats up miles well is it a Prius is it great on fuel economy uh, it's okay I'm showing right now 10.7 liters per hundred kilometer but I've been beating on the car passing some cars earlier so it is not the most fuel efficient thing but for almost 700 horsepower it is not that bad so my point here is that I, I truly believe now this car's got about 68,000 kilometers when I bought it it's got around 75,000 now I truly believe that this thing would go easily 200,000 kilometers problem free you might have some minor issues with bolt-on pieces to the motor like maybe a fuel pump or a water pump or something like that uh, but those would be normal wear and tear items for that many uh, miles on this type of car it's gonna pass this guy up here Oh man, that, that never gets boring. Um, holding on for your dear life while you pass things. Um, what I was saying is that this thing, when it's in cruising mode, like these things, I believe people put a lot of miles on them because they're comfortable, they're big, you can put a lot of stuff in them, and they just don't work that hard to get to where you're going. Honestly, this thing in seventh gear is the most beautiful, cruising, comfortable machine I've ever been in, even more so than a Lexus, an LS460. Uh, it, and it has the power to pass and do things to amaze you and your passengers like no car I've ever owned before. So that being said, most of the miles that have gone on a car like this or any other M car that has the same motor, this is, this is one of the most placed M motors I think in history. Um, I'm not sure of the engine code, I'll, I'll look it up and put it on the screen because I need to do some more research on it to understand it better. 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 very very smooth very well designed exceptionally powerful and reasonably efficient as far as these types of motors go again they don't work very hard to get you to where you're going it's mostly operating about 90 percent of the time between a thousand and two thousand rpm and it has so much torque in that area you don't you don't really have a want to want to press the throttle to use the extra power band it's there if you want it it's nice to have it and I enjoy using it but the truth of the matter is this is a motor that's gonna go a very very long time I'm very pleased with it I don't think that uh, you, you should be frightened of a high mileage um, motor like this in a M5 M6 X5 M or an X6 M uh, I, I think that these things will go for a long time the way they're designed the way they place it feels so tight uh, compared to my old M3 the S65 different motor still love it to bits this one just feels more refined uh, and more durable if that has if that makes sense you just know when you get in a car that it's going to eat up the miles very very easily without much effort or problems or concern that being said if you're shopping for a M car with this motor in it don't let mileage scare you if it's been properly maintained and the records are all there uh, and more more than likely it's going to be a lot of highway miles which means it's not it doesn't put a lot of wear or tear on the car I would I would probably go for a higher mileage example of one of these than a lower mileage one I'll give you a, a very brief example there was a guy that I met at the drag strip uh, about a month ago when I went to Kiyuga with my buddy Ray and uh, he had a 9,000 kilometer uh, 2012 M5 which is the same year as mine and it had no clicks on it and he only drove it very short distances started it turned it off started it, turned it off which is of course not good for the motor uh, it, it just it just didn't have a lot of use in the five-year period of time there's a garage queen that you know probably was kept in a bubble that he that he hand cleaned every single weekend I would rather have a 70,000 kilometer example of this car uh, than the 9,000 kilometer example uh, of the barely used baby car that's hardly been used uh, you know the, the 
short distance short stopping cars are usually never a good buy look for one that's been maintained properly has all the records and driven these cars want to be driven don't let mileage scare you if you have any questions for me please leave a comment below i appreciate you checking out the video of course the first one you've seen give it a subscription and a like and we'll talk to you guys later peace